Um, what well, I've always known about or scratch out that it's section. Okay. Um, I grew up in a Christian family, so I've always mm -hmm. known about Jesus. I was taught about Jesus from when I was really young, but I didn't really truly meet Jesus until probably university. Um, I think well, I was just struggling with some stuff that I couldn't really get a handle on. And that was kind of the first time where I've truly kind of prayed to Jesus for help. and. Mm. Yeah, and he just kind of, well, he helped me get through some times that I really, or some things that I really couldn't handle on my own, so that was the first time I I truly believed in Jesus' power over my life. Just made me kind of, well, instantly I did feel a change, like realizing just that my life is not my own and that there is more to life than just myself and mm. so you, you do start to I did start to definitely look around more and you try to put yourself in other people's shoes and more often just and realize the struggles that they're going through and it, it does give you a different perspective on life and what what is important to you and it's not just yeah like Family's an easy one. Family became more important to me. Um, but, yeah, just trying to live in a way that pleases God as opposed to just pleasing myself. Probably the biggest change I noticed in my life. Um, I don't want to prop up Sean or anything. Um, but, <laughs> like, uh, just when I when I first gave my life to Jesus, I I did do a public profession of faith at the church I was in, which which I don't think has no meaning. I I think it it was a big step for me in my path with Jesus. Um, but after reading more reading more about Jesus and some of the like in I think it's in Acts. That's where. They just say, believe and be baptized. And I think just, or repent and be baptized might be what they use. But it just kind of hit home that, yeah, I, I've given my life to Jesus. I should be baptized. It, so that's kind of why I'm deciding now. And and, they, and I think also it just says, be baptized and you will receive the Holy Spirit. I do hope that through baptism I'll see my further growth in my walk with Jesus. And it's a it's always you get closer and closer as you learn more, but yeah, so I'm hoping this will bring me even closer to Jesus. The main thing for me right now is is teaching my kids about Jesus' love um, and raising them in a way so that they learn about Jesus and that that they learn that He loves them. That's one of the big ways. But even just in everyday my in everyday life, just making sure that whoever I meet, I I show God's love to them, and that even though I not really much for preaching or really being able to explain Jesus to people. I think just through through showing his love and and kind of through through my own actions I'm seeing my life and being a good example of, that I think I, that'd probably be my way to live for Jesus and keeping an open mind I guess like looking for the opportunities that Jesus presents for me to to minister to those around me it, and not ignoring some of the times when he may be speaking to me. Um, so I've, I've gone to church since I was young and I've been going to church and um, 
participating in church are kind of two different things. So I've I've always like even even when I went to university and was no longer living at home, I still would go to church, but I never really felt connected to church. I never I never really got involved in the church and in activities and never really made many friends with people from the church. I was mainly I mainly had friends outside the church and that's one of the things that since the Sparwood church plant it's kind of enabled or kind of forced me to take more more ownership and more just responsibility in the church and so it and it's been really nice like it I've started going to small groups and we start to connect with a lot of people in the church and make friends within the church and it does definitely give me a different perspective on on my faith being connected more and I got to meet you that's been alright <laughs> that's been alright <laughs> thanks man